All right. Good morning from the beautiful island of Guam. Uh, today, we're gonna go check out this travel uh, place where they do COVID testing. And yeah, I'm gonna give you some more shots of Tumon. I'm also testing out this like walking handle. Hopefully the footage is as stable because I don't have a gimbal. Uh, but we're gonna check in here, the plaza. Uh, that's what our goal is for today's live walk is show you the COVID testing here. All right. Everything's a little still closed right now, but except for that coffee, Honolulu Coffee Company. Uh, we're also um, doing something crazy in the next uh, few weeks. I don't know, in the next few days. I got a cool vlog that I'm planning to film and it's gonna be at Ipau. It's one of the coolest events that I believe happens on Guam and it's finally back after the pandemic. So yeah. Yeah, so we're going here. To this, uh, there it is. Should be open. Uh, we're gonna ask them some questions. Uh, let's go ask. Yeah, so like I was saying, uh, there is going to be a cool event this Saturday at Ipau Beach and it's the return of the Japanese festival, the Aki Matsuri. Uh, right now, we're also doing some stuff for our future plans of travel. Let's go ask. I don't have a mask, so hopefully they don't kick me out unless I don't have a mask. Sorry, bro. I don't have a mask right now. I just want to ask a question. I don't have a mask. Oh. Okay. Yes. Uh, so I'm I'm gonna be traveling um, next month, uh -huh. around December 20th, to the Philippines. Right. I'm a two-shot vax. I'm not sure if that's fully vaxed, but I heard that you're not you're not you're you still need a booster test? shot? Yeah. Or, no, or I don't. I, yeah, do I still need a COVID test? Even if I don't have the booster shot? Um, so if you don't have the booster shot, then yes, sir. You need a COVID okay. test. Okay. Uh, preferably, I would recommend PCR test. Okay. So it gives you less trouble. Do we do that so, here? So, yes, you can do it here. Okay. Um, um, so my, seven, my flight would be on the 20th. The 20th? Me what and my girlfriend. It would be at nighttime. Like a. We leave here at 7 p.m. Yeah, but we have a stopover at uh, Koror, I think, or Lao, I'm not sure. And then I'll be in Manila mm. by 10 p.m. or 11. So it's like, uh, how long is the stop, sir? The transit stop? Uh, the whole flight will take five hours. Five hours. Okay, one more. You said December 20? Yeah. That's a Tuesday. And it was at night, 20th at yes. night. That should be I would good. suggest you get tested. Monday the 19th. Oh, okay. Uh, is that like a... Anytime. Is it more than a day already? Uh, no, it's for PCR. That's why it's PCR. Oh. Uh, it's 48 to, it's about like 48 to 72 hours. Oh, okay. You get that here? Yeah. Okay. You could get that here. So it would be... Not compared to an antigen. It would be too early and it will expire. Oh, okay. So you get a PCR test. Is PCR uh, the... the most of them? Both of them are those. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the 19th. Preferably morning time, sir. Okay, yeah, thank you. So you get your results perfectly timely. Thank you. All right. Okay. Did you have any other questions, sir? Uh, are we allowed to like schedule or something? I uh, know. You just oh. walk in. So, it's not that busy. Thank you. Thank you. Not a problem. Thank you, sir. Hey, thanks for the mask. All right. All right. So. I'm sorry that I was facing down and stuff, but we got our information here at the COVID-19 visitor testing. Guam has. It's also free of charge. The uh, guy also gave me a free mask. I didn't want to film it. I'm sorry if you were enjoying <laughs> the views, but yeah, I don't want to film that. But we got our information. We're going to get a PCR test. It's going to be cool. And uh, yeah, man, I'm excited. Uh, bring you back another series of uh, Manila and travel. I uh, hope you liked it. Also, if you haven't, you could check out my older vlogs. They're from like uh, Japan, uh, Manila, also all over Philippines, and also all over Japan. You just gotta look through my channel. But 
Uh, since we got our information, I'm pretty stoked. And also, the cool thing about this one in Guam is that it's gonna be free. I love it, it's free, you know? Everyone loves free shit. Uh, I still have some time before I go into work. Uh, let's go show you some quick morning views here. Uh, let's see what we got. Oh, Palm Cafe. Palm Cafe is actually, I heard, a really good uh, place to go eat at. Like a buffet, morning buffet, I'm not sure. This bar is called Tabu. I'm not sure if it was like that. But I'm giving you a go around. We're in the Ducid, Ducid Hotel. This used to be called Outrigger. Uh, beautiful paintings by Jeff. My friend, Jeff Egen. I'm not sure what his thing is. But you should check him out. Hi, good morning. And then, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if we have that much time, but let's get a fast walk through, through the beach. So you guys get some beach, beach views instead of street views. Uh, so yeah, when I was younger, there used to be all these chairs here and like all types of people would just hang out here and do, do like schoolwork, uh, dates, like some college shit. But now it's different, you know? I'm sorry if the camera's shaking again, but uh, I hope you're also enjoying these views. Ooh, look at that, beautiful. Uh, maybe we'll go left and head in through that way and then go back and get, get, go, go get going into work. I love this tiki, but fucking, what's that called? The light fire stand or whatever. Uh, Guam is not known for tikis. Guam is known for lighty stones. Those tiki things are like Hawaiian and stuff and uh, Tahitian, I think, but Guam doesn't really do Tahiti, uh, what's that? Uh, tiki stone, tiki, tiki statues. I don't know why Guam has, or they have that here. We're not Hawaii, we're Guam. Shout outs to Hawaii though. There, that's what's Guam right there. Laddie Stone. That's what Guam's known for. This is the pool area. There's a tiki bar. And tourists, it's keeping our economy alive. Good stuff. All right. Oh, it's closed. Uh, I'm not used to this anymore. I used to take this way to the beach access. But again, another beautiful painting by Jeff. Oh, that's pretty cool, man. This whole thing used to be just like a barbecue place. I like how they converted it. Uh, Maybe one is better. I'm not sure if you guys like that angle, but it should be more stable than the the wide angle that's like fisheye. I'm not sure if I get kicked out here. But we try. Oh shit, there's like giant chests over there. That's cool. <laughs> Jacuzzi. Uh, elephant god statue. I'm not sure if that's called Shiva. And certain people's religion. Let's go white again. Oh, the beach. Tumon Bay, guys. Tumon Bay, everyone. I have, I haven't been here in a bit, but look at this cool handrail spot. Put a wood there. A double set right here. You can skate that. Nice endless ledges. But this is the beach here. Maybe I should walk the beach. Let's go walk the beach, guys. All right. So, this is Guam's beach. Look at the sand, beautiful white sand. I know this is not from Guam originally. They had to buy it and import it here, but it's still beautiful nonetheless. To Mon Bay, everybody. This is also new. Splash Park. 
I've I've haven't been here in a bit, bro. Maybe like a decade around this area. It's crazy. Wow. I'm not sure if I could go in there to show you the views, but we'll try anyway. Wow. My son's gonna love this place. That's cool, man. This is a, a upgrade. I know this used to be just like a park where people chill and then there's like a little cafe over there. Uh, hopefully that cafe's still alive, but this is new to me. This is so cool. I love how Guam is also developing, you know? We're not just made already. We're like still developing and so much things. Uh, it's cool. Sometimes it's sad that uh, some things go away and new things come, but it's also cool to me. We got beach house here. Hopefully the song doesn't get us copyrighted. Yeah, this is, uh, this is the way I usually take before. But we're gonna head this way anyways. Hopefully we're not stuck in here again. All right, good stuff. Uh, I think this is Nana's Cafe. I'm not sure what it's called anymore. I've never eaten here. Uh, it's just like a tourist, tourist trap for Guam. If you want really good barbecue, I'm pretty sure the locals here and you can do it yourself. Yep, there you go, Nana's Cafe sells barbecue. Also, there's some beautiful artwork here. Because they had this really cool thing for Gax. There you go, Squid Liquor. Yeah. So Guam had this really cool thing for Gax where they had all these walls all over uh, Guam painted with more murals from fucking famous uh, celebrity, uh, not famous celebrities, but famous artists from all over the world. It's pretty cool. So shout outs to Josh for being that curator for that Gax exhibition and also uh, whoever else was a part of that. There's also another one over here, Loud Generator. Sorry about that. There's this, there's these local ones, but there's also a big, uh, that bird. I'll stay quiet for a bit, too loud. this road right here right in front of the beautiful Tumon crossing all we need is like a statue of Hachiko here and we're good bro we could imitate Japan's Tumon crossing or Japan's uh, Shibuya crossing uh. and there you go guys the beautiful Tumon crossing all right I think we had a really good uh walk today uh, I'm gonna head back into work I want to thank you again for joining me on this uh, live stream uh, walks of Guam to one uh, thank you again for watching uh, thanks for subscribing if you subscribe liking and sharing all this stuff and if you're coming to Guam half a day welcome to Guam thanks for watching I'm out peace guys I'm out